Well, from what we've seen, Jason, I don't think the distance will be this one. <laughs> Have a look at the trajectory on the kick. He's got a leg. Yeah. That's out of here, please. There's a settler. Um, I guess, yeah, that year I had a good year playing state footy. Um, and then went back to the Eagles and played a fair bit of senior footy as well. So I uh, guess I had a fair bit of interest. I think I spoke to just about every club except for a couple. So um, I guess my expectations were I, I felt as though I, I was good enough to get drafted and was really hoping that I would. So I guess I went in as nervous as everyone does, but still a little bit relaxed and just hoping that um, you know I'd get picked up. I had a fair bit, I think I had four or five interviews with the Crows by the time the draft had come around. Obviously, yeah, Mum was working at the club, but um, no, I didn't get any inside information from Mum, unfortunately. Uh, I just went to a friend's house. We didn't have Foxtel at the time, so we went over there to watch it on Fox, and I had um, Mum, Dad, and my grandparents with me, and um, yeah, we just sat on the couch and watched the count. Take it, and he releases Smith. Smith hoping for Jenkins, or he might oh. kick a goal himself. Opening goal to the Crows, and that'll get the crowd involved. Yeah, I did university in my year between school and the draft, so um, I guess I had a fair bit of spare time during the week, so I wasn't working. I was just uh, concentrating on footy and doing a little bit of uni, so um, it was good for me to you know, really concentrate on footy that year going into the draft. I remember that. That year, I think that month, every day I checked the Phantom Drafts and where um, all the media was put, trying to put players. So, um, yeah, I just it finally came around and um, a few sleepless nights and night before, uh, leading up to the draft. But yeah, once I got there, I was just really excited. Um, well, like I said, I'd spoken to the Crows a lot. I'd spoken to the Power a lot, and they were 14, 16. Um, it was a Gold Coast dominated draft and I hadn't got a lot of interest from them and I didn't get invited so I knew I wasn't in that sort of bracket so I think I got really nervous. I think it was 12 Melbourne had a pick um, and then 13 was Gold Coast and then 14 the Crows and bang I was gone so um, it was a pretty good moment. Yeah. You're not going to get room like this very often. Gives the handball off and letting it rip is Smith with an absolute missile. What a kick! Oh, I guess, like Sam said, just relief and just joy that, um, you know, the dreams come true. You worked so hard for it as a kid trying to get to that stage. And um, especially for me, I really wanted to stay home, so Crows or Port. Um, so, yeah, just to be able to be able to stay home and live with my parents still, it just really helped me in the first couple of years of my career. And, um, yeah, it was just a, a really good moment. Yeah, mum's, mum was Crows and Dad, myself and my sister were all port, so um, uh, yeah, he wasn't, he was obviously pumped that I got picked up, um, but yeah, it took him a few years, I think it took him until this year, he wore a Crows polo for the first time to the showdown, so he's definitely a Crows porter now, but it took him a few years to come around. Dangerfield, he could be the man, he hands it up instead to Smith, long goal square, and he, for the first time today, the Adelaide Crows lead. Yeah, I went to school with Pup Petrenko, so um, I think he was the only one I knew, but um, so he really looked after me the first couple of years and um, we formed a good friendship and unfortunately he's not here now, but um, hopefully his career will be extended somewhere else, but yeah, he really looked after me the first couple of years. Yeah, I remember Steve Sanders, the player manager at the time, called me pretty quick and yeah, Dogger gave me a call and uh, VB as well, I reckon, so that was... Um, a little bit daunting hit me straight away and my phone was going pretty nuts at the time. A lot of messages from mates and family so um, but yeah it was good to you know speak to a couple of leaders before I got here it made me feel a bit more comfortable. How did I celebrate? Um, I don't reckon I did much. I think we were straight into it. The draft was a Thursday night and we had a camp on the Saturday so Jared Lyons we were the only two senior players that year and he had to stay in Melbourne so I think Sam Martin and was a rookie from New South Wales, so me and him went to the camp and um, met all the boys straight up and did a few fitness exercises. I think I ended up spewing up after one of them, so it was a good start to the career. <laughs> Ponzi Adley has won out, gives it back to Smith. He's run tirelessly, long kick, it may have the carry, it's a goal! I look back a lot and just think how lucky I was. Um, you know, my family home's in Westlake, so I've been drafted to a club that's five minutes down the road. Um, not many guys can say that, so 
yeah, to be able to stay in my home state and come to such a good club like the Crows, even though I was a Port supporter, you know, as soon as I got here, I just felt right at home and um, it's been an awesome time and yeah, I just think I'm really lucky. Yeah, it does, it does. I'll still um, check out a few, like I said, the Phantom Drafts and I was right into it when I was younger. Um, but yeah, it brings, brings back a few memories, always try and see the SA boys coming through and where they think they'll go. So. Um, yeah, just remember it as a, a very nerve-wracking and exciting time and um, there'll be a few nervous 18-year-olds at the moment. <laughs>